in this video we'll be dwelling into the world of hugging face so if you don't know what hugging face is basically democratizing how ai models is accessed by us individuals so think of it as like a repository for all the models which is available to us so if i go to the model sections here these are all the models that you can use to create interesting applications so just seeing this like gives me so many options to create a ai related saas it gives me so many ideas so you can see that there is models like stability ai which is text to image generation um it gives us a description you can even check out how this works you can see how the json um output is so if i go back here and go to the first one um you can see the, you can actually try out how this um, model works so let me say hello and if i say compute you can test the model right here you can even see the json output like if you want to use this in your application how the response is and this is for free which you can use so today what we'll do is we'll build a very simple application using this model just to demonstrate to you all how we can develop really really cool applications so so this is a very simple application that i developed using the model from hugging face so just to demonstrate to you all how this works let me type in something ai has huge potential and and now if i wait for 3 seconds um uh, the suggestion should appear from the model now if i hit tab we populate our input with the suggestion from the model so this is what we'll be building hope you all find this useful i've got my vs code running here so i've created a next js project with the um, the latest configuration as of the recording of this video which is 13.5.4 and i've just done the basic styling here so that we don't consume too much time styling it so this is how it looks as of now so this is what we are working with um and i've created a use state and i've mapped the value of the text area with the um user input so as of now we are not um uh, tracking the changes which are being made in the text area so that will be doing together um so let's get started so for the um on change part what we can do is we can create a function called handle on change and we can create this function right here um let me just create it right here and we don't need none of this now in here to track the changes we'll need the event here so here i'll give it the event and give it the types which is required for typescript and here also i'll have to pass it to the handle on change function so in here i can just give e so now we can store that in an input text with e dot target dot value and set our user inputs to input text so if you're wondering why we are doing it in such a roundabout way and not setting the user text directly here because we'll have to play around with the timeout function as well so let me just show you how um we'll be doing that so here we'll have to create another use state which is this we'll create a new use state called typing timeout um which is which will be a node js dot timeout um type so in here what i want to do is if our input text dot length is greater than 0 only then i will create a new reference to that um timeout function so timeout will set the timeout and we'll want to run this uh timeout function in 3 seconds because we want the suggestion to come after every 3 seconds and let me just console log out that the timeout um has run timeout run okay and what i'll do is i'll set the typing timeout to new typing timeout okay um so what this basically does is the it uniquely identifies each set timeout 
and it, it returns the id of this set timeout to new typing timeout so if i console log out the new typing timeout oh no, it should be new should be yeah sorry it should be typing timeout because this is the state and after three seconds this should run so now if i save it and go to firefox and i'll just hit null and if i start typing so now our each of our timeout um function yeah, we are getting the unique id for that so if i timeout if i just uh, keep typing we keep on getting this um, the id of the each of those timeout function and if i wait for three seconds i get that log saying timeout run so this works um according according to how we want it to work so what we'll basi basically be doing is that um when the user is typing and if he waits for three seconds a function will be called uh, called get suggestion which will um, make an api request to the model and will be getting the text from there so in here next thing what i'll do is just on top what i'll do is i'll say if typing time if there's a typing timeout i'll clear out the timeout function so this means that this function won't run when the um, user is typing. So if only um, only run this function once the user stops typing. That's why we are giving an if typing timeout um, condition here. And because we're using timeout, we'll also have to clear it using use effect. Use effect and we'll have to um, destroy it. So this is just use effect stuff. So once it unmounts, once this component unmounts, we'll also clear the timeout. So here, typing timeout. CLG not running. See, I'll give a console log out here saying ran. Okay, this will be a string. And if I go back to my um, VS code here, so if I'm not typing anything, that timeout function does not run because we've given it the condition here saying only run it after if the input text is greater than zero. All right, so now if I type, it's not running. And if I wait for three seconds, it should run. Okay, so the problem basically is I've <laughs> I put the console log outside the timeout function. That's why it was running. So even I was wondering why it's why why this was the case. Anyway, so you can see now the timeout function is not running, but if I stop and wait for three seconds, it'll run. So that's basically a use case. So we've got down how to like make an API request. I hope you're understanding. Um, so the next part would be to actually uh, make an API request here. So let's go back to the Firefox. And if you go here, if you go to this, um, so hugging face, let me just show you what kind of models we have. So we've, if you go to models, we've got a bunch of different models here. I mean, this, you, you can spend a lot of time here just playing around with it. That's what I usually do. So yeah, you got stability, AI, all this. So what we'll be using is this one, the first one. Um, so if you go and click here, all right. So this is, I think, a fairly new one. We've got 65,000 downloads. So this is what, um, like you can actually see how this thing works. So this is, and you have to actually press the button here. So if I click here, compute, this is not a new concept window. Yeah. So it gives you the text suggestions. And you can also see the, if you press in the JSON output here, you can see the generated, like how the response will be from the um, backend. So this is generated text and gives you 
the entirety including the string which you've typed and the suggestion as well so that's how this thing works so if you want to get the api request for this um you have to go to deploy and press inference api so here we've got for python and then we've got javascript and sql so as we're dealing with javascript this is what we want so you can just copy out this function right here and paste it to our vs code so let me go back here to our vs code and in here just right on top let me just paste in that function and because we are using typescript again i'm giving it some types so it's basically the same thing and i've also hidden my api key with um, an env file so i've stored so let me go back to firefox here so here if you just hit show api key this will show you the api key which is yours and you can just copy that and paste it to yours um to your code so in here this uh, this uh, basically the next public api token will be like so like i've left a dot env dot example file so you can just use this um put your api key right here and just remove the dot example and it'll be a dot env file so yeah so this is our function which will be called um it'll have a data uh, which will basically be the string which will be typing in our text area and it'll make the it'll be stringified to the body and sent to the backend so now what i'll do is i'll create another function um to basically set all the response which i'll be getting from the backend so if i go back to our get suggestion this is a new function um i'm making a request to this function query and i'm appending my input which is the user inputs and we'll be getting back the result so we'll have to store this somewhere so that for that we'll have to create another state so the state which i'll create will be let me create just right under here um so this will we'll call it suggestion and set suggestion this will be a string let me give it some types you don't ha actually have to type like even if you don't typescript will know it's a string i believe yeah it still knows it's a string so anyway i'll just give it because i just want to remain consistent throughout okay anyway um so once uh, we've created our state we can actually store it somewhere so here i'll create a const called ai suggestion um and this will be let's say the this will be hugging face response and since this is an array so if you if i go back to firefox here and you can see the json output will be an array and inside that we have an object called generated text so this will take the first element of the array and we will get the generated um okay just to be safe i'll copy out this right here and go back here and yeah that should and i'll also console log out the ai suggestion and i'll set our suggestion to ai suggestions okay so we've created the function now all we have to do is we have to call this right here so let me just go here so yeah the same i won't declare it outside the function i'll declare it inside so here we can just call it here directly so get suggestions so suggestion yep that should do the trick now if i go to our application right here if i do if i just clear out and now if i start typing a i s and if i stop for 3 seconds i should be getting a response as you can see here i have a post request was made and we are getting the text which is a is a 2016 indian tamil language science okay this is completely wrong okay maybe probably there's a movie called ai which is an indian tamil language science fiction thriller <laughs> fine okay fine so we are basically getting our uh, our response so now all we have to do is like as we are typing and if st if the user stops i want the suggestion to be made right here so let's do that now 
Okay, AI. <laughs> I probably have to look up that movie. Anyway. Alright, so now let's move on to the JSX part. So if you can see here, I have I have a div here which is relative, and I have two um, tags which is text area and the p tag, and I've absolutely placed the text area to this div so that this p tag and the text area are like on top of each other. So. Let me, at the starting, let me just put this outside so that you can see it better and I'll remove the absolute. No, actually I'll put this inside as well, inside only. And let me go here. So right now there's no AI suggestion, that's why you cannot see anything. But if I say AI has huge and I stop, I should be getting a suggestion right here. Okay, I'm not getting a suggestion right here. Why is that? Um, let's see, request, response. I should be getting it. Um, let me go here, my console logging it out. So, let me check. I'm setting it, all right. Uh, probably, okay, understood why. Because inside the p tag, I'm not rendering out the suggestions. It should come out now, yeah. So, as you can see now it is right here so now what I want to do is I want to place this p tag inside the text area so that these two are on top of each other and it appears to the user as though this is inside the text area so that's why I'm taking I'm absolutely placing absolutely placing the text area so if I save now Probably, yeah, now you can see this thing went right on top of this thing. So that's how I'm doing it. It's a very clunky way of doing it, but it just, um, as this is just for demonstration purposes for half a king face, I think that's fine. Anyway, so that's how we are doing it. So the next step is once the user hits tab, which I'm doing right now, I'm hitting tab, but it's going here, okay. tab, I want um, my user the user input state to get all the value of the suggestion so we'll do that now so that for that what we'll have to do is um, let's go and say on key down so on key down there's something should happen so let me create a function for that so handle tab um, key press and let me create a function for this. So let me create it. Let's create it right here under this. Yeah. So let me call this handle key press. And let me, it should have an event. So this is probably a react dot keyboard event, I believe. Yeah, keyboard event. And it'll be an HTML text area element. So now let's say if e dot key is equal to tab, then let me say tab hit, right? So now if I go back here, open the console um, and hit tab, okay, so the tab is it. If I hit another key, nothing comes up right okay. okay so this there's some uh, you can see like it shows some it's not working as it should but we'll um, fix that as well so as the user is typing I want this to get cleared as well so all that will be done inside this function so in here what we can do is let's say e dot prevent dot default will set the user inputs to um, suggestion and we'll also set suggestion so the response which i'm getting from the backend to null uh, or an empty string and here what i can do is for the placeholder um, instead of giving a static placeholder i can give a dynamic one saying that if there is a suggestion uh, render out the suggestion or say enter text enter text 
Oh, I just noticed I'm not passing the event even then it's working. Oh, so probably you don't need E here as well. Okay, that's new. I didn't know that. Fine. Um, that should work as well. So let's just try our application. So let's say AI is cool and it's got and I stop. So now I should be getting. Yeah. So now I can get the AI suggestion right here. And if I hit tab, it takes in all that um, suggestion as well. So yeah, so this is basically what we've built. I think that's the end of this video. So hope you've learned something from this. And if you've got any cool hugging face or AI related project ideas, let me know in the comment section. Um, let's make it happen. All right. Thanks for watching. Hello again. So this is um, post editing Tabish speaking. So while I was editing, I noticed a bug, which was if I type in something and the suggestion comes in and if I continue typing, you can see that this doesn't go away. So this is a very bad experience. So in order to rectify that, what we can do is in the handle on change function, I can just set suggestion so if the user continues to type in we'll just clear out the suggestion so that nothing renders out so if i go back here if i refresh it and say hello how are you and if the suggestion comes in and if i continue typing that should go away so that fixes it